He's kind of going where he wants. I want to see this one. We're battling. River Rats, been down here for a handful of days pre-fishing for a tournament and we've ran across some really pretty darn nice fish and we've been out looking around today and ran in a few there too but we got to get everything rocked and rolling and, and ready to go for tomorrow. First we got to get some to eat. So let's go. I can't do much and I do even less on an empty stomach. It does need gas, Seth. If you, right in front of me the whole time. And if you leave the gas canister in it, it'll run out of gas. It's an interesting factoid. I'm full of them. Taters come first. And then we're going to fry some catfish that I procured earlier. Life is good. You know, life is pretty good. Dude, I'm getting hungry. I made sure not to wash my hands. Yeah, you don't want to. I mean, it's seasoning. Right. If you don't have salt or pepper, you might as well have shad. Oh, I don't, like, real talk, I don't mind, like, fresh shad, the smell of fresh shad. I don't mind the smell of it. I'm not a huge fan of the taste of it. I don't hate the taste of it. But that I mean, day or two, up, right? like, the day or two old shad, not great. I can see why it doesn't work as good for bait. The blues don't seem to mind, but flyheads are kind of snobby about it. Right. Yeah, we were out scanning all day, ran into one really nice fish that we would like to catch tomorrow. Uh, once I get him closer, or actually, you get right here, because there ain't current. Oh no! No way! On that big hook. He was 50. He's over 50. He's 50 to 70. Um, he didn't make it to the boat because the hook pulled. Controlled release. Controlled release. So he probably won't be back there, but it's an area that holds big fish. And like you were talking about, like, I mean, they're transient. They're moving around so darn much right now that there's certain things that pull them in. Some, some I under, feel like I understand. A lot I don't. You don't have to know the why. You just have to know the what and figure out where they're at. I feel better about this one than I did the last one, which is good because we didn't do very good <laughs> in the last one. <laughs> we were very confident there, so. I'm no. Confidence level. If you think that's my definition of confidence. <laughs> See, the thing with confidence though, you gotta have experience. Without experience, there's no real confidence. And I haven't fished enough tournaments to have like absolute true confidence. Like I feel like I can catch fish, but. You're doing it on command. In a control, well, it's the difference catching fish when nobody's around versus competing with for with for, for spots, spots with other boats. Like when I know I can go where I want when I want, I I know I can catch something. You know, I'm not might not beat the brakes off of them, but I'm gonna catch something. Right. But yeah, this is totally different. But I will say, we catch five tomorrow. We'll do all right. So let's let's just catch five. Oh, oh buddy. Now we're getting somewhere. Getting some crisp. The old taters are coming around. I'm gonna get the fish ready. You know, I've never well I haven't fished a ton of tournaments, period. Definitely never camped out in a parking lot before one. This is my first time as well. I'm kinda I like it. Yeah. I do too. $240 on a hotel room. Exactly. And now have a generator, which will be paid off in six tournaments. Well, I get paid off tomorrow. Well, that'd be all right. I'm not banking on it. Just going fishing, man. You know, I'm going to lay this out there. I don't like flathead that much more than blue cat. There's, like, they're so better, mild. Like they're so mild and flaky where a flathead's got a completely different texture. Yeah, I like they're, the texture of flatheads. They're almost, they're not even comparable, really. Flathead's more like, it's not porky, but it's almost like. It's different. Yeah. They're kind of their own thing. You're at alligator? Yeah. Alligator is like between flathead and a pork one. You ever had, you ever had gar? 
Gar's closer to alligator than flathead is. Yeah. yeah. They're basically alligators with no legs. That's true. I never thought of it like that. Fish is about done. Tortillas are about are done. Taters are done. If I look kind of haggard, it's because I've been camping on a river for three days, and I could definitely use a shower, but I don't think I don't that's, think I'm getting one. That's not happening tonight. No, I think we're not the only ones who plan on sleeping at the ramp. You could leave the ramp at five and get to your fishing spot. We would, but I think we're gonna wait for uh, Alex to show up. So I have the trio of terror out on the water. And if we, hopefully we get to the spot we wanna get to before anybody else gets there. But I feel like I'm rambling. It's probably cause I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for this fish to cook. <laughs> what else were we gonna grab? I have cheese, but I think I'm just going to go the tortilla. Well, you know, if I got cheese. I'm not going cheese. I'm, I'm going cheese. Sure you don't want the cheese? I mean, it's out. Can't be bad. No, it won't be bad. Well... We're gonna eat this, meeting of the minds, put together a game plan, and see you in the morning. Well, we're out here, it's pretty early. Not as early as we would like. We're waiting on Alex, and uh, we could have been on the road right now, but the, the plus side of that is we now have a built-in excuse. Not that I want excuses, I'd rather just win it, but we're gonna give her a try anyway. We're just gonna go fishing, and we need to put five in the boat. I'm excited. Well, that was a soggy boat ride and it looks like we're gonna get soggier. But we made it to our first spot and there ain't nobody here. Hopefully, in a perfect world, we get to pick this apart for an hour or two. We'll put a couple of 80s in the boat. We'll get plenty of high fives. And, all the high fives. Yeah, all the high fives. And I've been playing that out in my head since yesterday, catch, putting an 80 in the boat and how great the high fives are going to be. <laughs> I'm down. I'm right here. Right here. Well, this will work too. That wasn't far enough. Can't put rods in the water for what, 15 minutes? Okay. Prefer them delicatessen size. Ooh, those are perfect. Short leader, small baits, equals magnums. I'm like freaking jacked. Check your drags. Wonder if this storm's gonna get them rowdy. Yeah, I better put one big chunk on. I mean, my definition, this is my definition of a big chunk right now. I really want another monster, but I'm like so jacked and excited. I, if I put more caffeine in my system, it's probably not going to be good. Oh, I thought you meant fish. oh yeah, one of those would be great. All right, one minute. I'm going straight. You know, short, long, short. Just hit the aim for water. Okay. I'm hoping not touch rock, but it could happen. Well, I've seen you cast. Just give me that green light. We probably got 25 seconds. One nice thing about a 26 foot boat is you ain't got to cast it very far. <laughs> Alright, they're all in boys. 
feel like there's a swarm of bees. That's what the Amazon sounded like, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna let these sit for a little bit. And I'm gonna reel that one in and try to bomb it. Oh, there's a nibble. There ain't no catfish in here. It's all channel cats. All channel cats. Too well, rusty. Well, I'm gonna chop up bait and then I vote we move. That's it right there. That's the one. Send it. I was really hoping to get a backlash on camera and then like do the replay over and over again on it. <laughs> that was a, you know what, honestly, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10 for the follow through. 8 out of 10? You really had a really nice follow through on it. I'm not here. It's like just, it's just like shooting a shotgun, you know, if you don't follow through, yeah. you're, yeah. you're going to miss. I think this is it. I think we're going to get probably like 60 right here. Couple of 30s. I have no expectations. I think this is the one. Well, no fish in the first hour. Just keep plugging away. This river, I don't know, she can be mean at times. We haven't even seen that much on the fish finder. We're gonna go in here and scan around. If we see them, we stay. If we don't, we go to the next one. Unless you got any more ideas. On to the next one, old son. Yep. Stick and move. Well, we don't have the excuse that we didn't get the spot we wanted to start at anyway. Turns out, just going to be fishing. Just go fishing. Catch five. Oh, yeah. That's all. Big. You need to rub your beef stick and some shad juice. That's what I did last time. I never did that. He dropped it on the deck right in the Oh, oh blue cat slime is what it was. And then we didn't catch another one. That's true, but gonna X nay. Well, we need a blue cat to be able to put it in the blue cat slime. Kind of screwed in that regard. Mm -hmm. Some a hole wouldn't have came in here and sore lipped them all. <laughs> I'll tell you what, down here it only takes one bite to make things. That's true. We've decided we're going to switch this style of fishing up rapidly. We are getting out of here. But it could be good. I mean, it could, in, in one second, we could get a couple big fish in there. Never snagging, but like cold water. Oh, whoa, 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 come on now. <laughs> give, her, give her the beans. Holy shnikes. Dude, this current's strong enough where that fish was probably 12 inches long. Major rod tip bounce like that. Yeah. We're progressing. We had a nibble. <laughs> next, next thing we're gonna do is have a, a real bite. And then after that, I might catch one. Maybe. We ain't even halfway. Is that a small child screaming? Could be. I saw a fox yesterday on my way to the ramp. Did you? Hmm. Maybe it's a fox. What did it say? You know. <laughs> I'm ready with the anchor, Captain. I can't hear you. This is the El Capitano. We talked about this. Oh, yeah. All right, go ahead. Just things to think about. There you go. He's off um, now. All two pounds of him. We'll weigh him in, I guarantee you. Yes. That. Just need five. Get him. Get him. Is he still on? No. <coughs> as soon as you turned your back, you got tapped on. Good. I'll just turn around the rest of the day. That means we catch something. <laughs> it's noon. We got till 3.30. Currently, I have no fish in the boat. We could catch five in a hurry. Or we could also not catch any. Oh, there was a nibble. Just glad we're getting nibs out here. Just need a big porky dude to show up. Okay. Reel up or 
Um, I don't know, man. It's been so long since I hooked a fish bumping. He's pretty solid, though. Is he taking line? Yeah. All right, we uh, haven't had much going down. And we switched to bumping, and I just had one bite. He's solid. I don't know. He's kind of running at me. I don't want to mess with my drag. Oh, talk about bottom of the ninth. Guess he ain't in the boat yet. He's fighting. He's going over you, Alex. Okay. He's heavy though. Now he's going into you. He's kind of going where he wants. I want to see this one. We're battling. I just clear me some spot, Alex, because he's going now to the right. All right, because I don't want him to go under the boat. Okay. Oh, here's the leader. Quit freaking out. Yeah, he's heavy. You want me to lift him? Bring him up here. This is, yeah. Yep. I haven't seen him yet. in it at a boy yeah, yeah baby <laughs> <laughs> oh i freaked out a little when that sinker went flying what, flip it straight, up. straight up yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> oh slowest freaking day bottom of the ninth he ain't gonna win it but he's gonna give us something to talk about Okay. You got the fish? Yep. I, I, you got some lighter line? What, what? Lighter line, like 30, 40? Uh, yeah, in my taco bus. Okay. I'm shaking. Not much. This is heavy current, but. What do you think he is? 65. That'd be my guess, too. That was uh, pretty exciting. Just keep bumping. Can't even tie this damn knot I'm shaking so much. Another one like that, we're in the money. Oh yeah. That's crazy. If you think about it like that. It sucks he probably had a buddy. A lot of times they do. Yeah. It's alright. It's alright. He ain't the only one in the river. Nope. I thought I was gonna box in that. You did great. You couldn't have done it any better. Yeah, was You're the freaking I man. See it. There wasn't a damn thing wrong with it. You anticipated it. Yeah. That's called instinctual netting. You can't teach that stuff. You're the man. Right. Um, well, I guess we should have been bumping, boys. Right. <laughs> oh, hindsight's always 20 20. Right. Yep. Got him? Yep. Yes. Solid? Is he either running at me or just came off? He came off. Got 
Got a fish clean. I don't think he was big. Man's my live all over flowing into the bottom of the boat. 304. Give us one more bite. We got about 15 seconds. 305. Catch me one, Seth. That was a bite. 306. Go. Should we stay or should we go yeah. now? We got it now. Let's go. Alright. Really cool. Alright, buddy. You ready? We made the adjustment a little late, still figuring out these blue cat things, but we got lucky. Fish ended up going 64.6 and somehow put us in the top 10. Blows my mind. One fish with 15 minutes before we have to head back to the, the weigh-ins. and That's where we ended up landing. First top 10 tournament finish in my life, so I'm pretty darn jacked. And I don't know. Life's crazy, where you end up, what you do, and how things work out. And I'm just thankful I get to enjoy the ride and hope you did the same. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. You're awesome. Hope you catch a giant.